How's it going, Twin Cities? Hey, it's Sean. I'm over at my open house in Otsego, five acre property. And I've met a lot of people over the last few years who always talk about, you know, I want to buy my own piece of land and I want to build on it. And I want to do my own thing, but I don't think they've ever run the numbers. So today what we're going to do is we're going to do a simple exercise. We're going to take a piece of land that's going to be similar to this one, about five acres or so. We're going to kind of price it out and what it would cost to build and get your septic and well up and kind of show you how much that would cost compared to buying a property like this one that's already, you know, has a house built on it. It's got everything. It's turnkey. Um, everything you need is here and you can do even a lot with this property. You can do a hobby farm. You can run a business. Tons of things. It has a mother-in-law suite in the basement all ready to go. And I want to just do the math and kind of show you guys why a lot of people never end up buying that acreage property because they complicate things. Let's just try to build it from scratch on a raw land, which is, you're gonna see, there's a lot that goes into it. So let's dive into the computer and I'll get showing you. Okay, friends, we're gonna check this out. So here we have in the Elk River area, a lot that is about 3.2 acres. And we're just gonna look at kind of like, what would it take to build on this lot versus my property that I have listed here. Um, it's, you know, five acres, it's currently listed at 650. And all said and done, you know, that everything's done in this house. So we're gonna look at this and price it out and give you an idea of what you'd be looking at if you were to build, or maybe you should just buy something that's uh, already done. So this is just gonna be a simple exercise. We're gonna cover very basic stuff, okay? So then let's say, you know, this house right here, this this lot, you're gonna pay three, uh, 165,000. You know, that's that's pretty cheap, I would say, for, for three acres, not too bad. There's plenty of uh, lots in the area that are, you know, in the 300,000 range. But I chose this one just for this demonstration. Now, what you have to do is start pricing things out. So I just made a simple spreadsheet here and I, um, see if I can zoom in a little bit better. So we have here the lot price, okay? 165. Now the house build, we're gonna build something similar to what I have on, on my current listing. Something that's, you know, you know, three, 4,000 square feet with four or five bedrooms, a decent sized house, three car garage something that you would want, right? So that's gonna cost you around 650,000. And the reason I know that is because I have another property that I priced out with a builder that is a to be built. And the builder said, for this kind of house, it's gonna be, you know, everything together, it's gonna be 885, but with the house, it's gonna be right around 650,000 because currently this lot is uh, 225. So around 650,000 to build this house. And that's a local small builder. It's not something like over the top, okay? All right, and I'm sitting here in my garage on my open house, so thing, the breeze is coming in, there's noise, right? So anyway, let's jump back. So here we have it, 650 for the build, 165 for the lot. We have well and septic. That's not gonna be cheap. You have to drill the well to the septic system at 25 and 35,000 just roughly. But then we also have to consider things like the zoning, like what are they gonna allow you to do? What uses can you do on the property? You know, can you have a garden, can you, are there restrictions? Can you have a hobby farm? Maybe can you run a business or not? There's driveway cost. You know, you have, the, you have to maybe even uh, consider that there might not be a road or even a good road where you are. What about internet? What about if you have to drive really far away to find that lot, so drive time. Then you have landscaping because the builder doesn't include landscaping when he gives you the house price, okay? Unless you negotiate it in. Then you have like, oh, okay, do you want a deck or a patio? Then there's interior stuff like uh, window treatments and just basic finishes that you might want to buy uh, after the sale. So really guys, you know, it can add up. I'm not even going to calculate all these things, right? But that would put you at 875 right there to do that. Uh, and also we didn't mention it, but that would be the hassle, right? How much time and energy and, and, and research would it take you to get that project done? when maybe it would work out if you just bought something that was already finished. So something to think about and you know, as rates go up, you might, and if you, this is something you really wanna do and you wanna get it done, make sure to give us a call. You know, this house would be one great option. Um, if it doesn't fit your needs, we can always search for something else, but uh, this one is still available and it's great property. So give us a call, shanablanca.com.